In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. That the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 1, verses 5 through to 25. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, a certain priest named Zacharias of the division of Abijah. His wife was of the daughter of daughters of Aaron, and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord blameless. But they had no child, because Elizabeth was barren, and they were both well advanced in years. So it was that while he was serving as priest before God in the order of his division, according to the custom of the priesthood, his lot fell to burn incense when he went into the temple of the Lord. And the whole multitude of people was praying outside at the hour of the incense. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing on the right side of the altar of incense. And when Zacharias saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zacharias, for your prayer was, is heard, and your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you shall call his name John. And you will have joy and gladness, and many will rejoice at his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord, and shall drink neither wine nor strong drink. And he will also be filled with the Holy Spirit, even from his mother's womb. And he will turn many of the children of Israel to the Lord their God. He will also go before him in the spirit and the power of Elijah, to turn the hearts of the fathers to the children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the just, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. And Zacharias said to the angels, How shall I know that this? For I am an old man, and my wife is well advanced in years. And the angel answered and said to him, I am Gabriel, who stands in the presence of God, and <clears throat> was sent to speak to you and bring you these glad tidings. Be, but behold, you will be mute and not able to speak until the day these th things take place, because you do not believe my words, which will be fulfilled in their time. And the people waited for Zacharias, and marvel that he lingered so long in the temple. But when he came out, he could not speak to them. And they perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple. For he beckoned to them and remained speechless. So it was, as soon as the days of his service were completed, that he departed to his own house. Now after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived, and she hid herself five months, saying, Thus the Lord has dealt with me in the days when he looked on me to take away my reproach among people. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit. Fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to be true and faithful followers of yours. In today's Gospel reading, we read about 
John's birth being announced to Zacharias. <clears throat> John the Baptist, the forerunner. Yes, the forerunner. Here are two elderly, here is two elderly people, a couple, husband and wife. Zacharias was a priest and worked in the temple. His wife was barren. But God blessed them both. Yes. He blessed them both. But because of Zachariah's lack of faith, Gabriel, who was sent to announce this to Zacharias, told him that he, until this happens, you'll be mute. Yes. They were praying for a child. But they basically had given up. How often do we pray and give up? How often is our faith weak? God hears your prayers. In his time, it will happen for you. We must be patient. Yes. And of course, John was a prophet. He was a forerunner of Christ. They were related. Elizabeth was the Theotokos' cousin. Yes. When the angel appeared to Mary and mentioned to her about her cousin Elizabeth being with child, we read what happened then, that Mary could not believe it and went to Elizabeth to be with her. How strong is your faith? Ask yourself during this preparation time. We only have a few more days to go. We are in the final week leading up to the celebration of the birth of Christ. Yes. Pray to the Holy Spirit to help you, to help you in this time. Pray fast. Yes. Pray that you will be strong enough, your faith will be strong enough to believe. And every day when you pray, give God the glory and thanks for the blessings he bestows upon you. Glory to God for all things. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.